Hey, it's Jordan here with Crypto Awareness, and I wanted to really get into what's going on with cryptocurrencies and the central banks and why this whole transition is occurring. So, right now, our world is kind of governed or run by the central banks. Collectively together, they pretty much control what goes on in our world. You have to look at this beyond politics, beyond countries, and and the governments that they say run them. And this, like, you want to go all conspiracy about it. This goes back to, like, maybe the reason the certain people left the Britain and came to America to try and establish this new colony thing was to get away from the banks. And if you, paid, if you go back and look at history... Central banking didn't get established in America until nine, around 1910 or something. There was a conference in around the 1910 uh, time time area, maybe a little bit after that, is when it got established. But up until that point, it hadn't been. And it seems to me now that the main fight was to keep that entity from establish, establishing itself in this new place. Fast forward to now, and we're dealing with our current economy it might look like where they're telling you things like unemployment's record lows our economy is doing really well look at the stock market it's higher than it's ever been the reason that it's higher than it's ever been is because ever since 2008 the central banks the banking institutions have been buying stocks because they something broke in 2008 when something broke. We know it broke. We know it happened. But the system broke. The system that they've been trying to run for 100 years broke. And if you look back at history, most fiat currency systems, like the one that the Fed runs, after 40 years, they have to be reset because they print too much money. There's too much borrowing going on. The system isn't really sustainable. And we've come upon that now. There's way too much debt in the world. Every country seems to owe somebody else money. America, we have a $20 trillion debt now, and that's only going to increase. What this means is everything is just going to continue to cost more, but we're not making more money. Wages have stayed the same, but they've been printing more money and there's way more money in the economy than there's ever been. But people only make, the general population only make the same that they've always always have. And thus, the system cannot sustain itself and it is about to fall. A lot of people will try and demonize the central banks. Like, oh, they're this. We live on a, we live in a duality, all right? There's good and bad. The only reason that we know good or we know bad is because the other exists. If you think running the world or running 7 billion people is easy, try it. Try running a business. Try running a classroom. Try running just 10 people and see if you can please everybody all the time and if it always works out because you'll find out that it's hard. That aside, time goes by. People get greedy. Systems that were maybe once supposed to be good get corrupt because that's that's kind of human nature so what's actually now occurring and why cryptocurrencies are causing a revolution is because for the first time in history we can rely on math numbers artificial intelligence and computers to kind of be this this middleman between all of our interactions that isn't necessarily uh, fall victim to the human faults like corruption and greed that we that the people that get put in control can sometimes fall victim to we're letting math and a computer algorithm handle that so maybe we can just get down to our person-to-person -person human interactions and kind of take that trust that necessary trust out of the situation what this effectively does is make the central banks pointless we don't need them 
if we can interact with our money. Now, back when I said that the central banks are controlling everything, or they control the government and all this stuff, now pay attention to what you see in the news and everything about cryptocurrencies up until this point. At least it's going to change. It's starting to change now because the institutional investors are going to be able to get in. And this is, this is going to happen because the economy is about to take a hit. And they need a system in place that can replace it. If you don't think the economy is about to take a hit, you probably live in America because you and you don't listen, you don't look at news outside of American news. Just the simple fact that the world is tired of the American dollar being the standard is going to make this happen. Recently, Russia and Iran, I believe it was started uh, agreed to start making financial transactions via cryptocurrency like Bitcoin and Litecoin to circumvent US sanctions that's it right there US sanctions the only reason the United States can sanction anybody is because the world's financial the main financial institution of the world run on the SWIFT system and the main currency of the Swiss system is U.S. dollars. So the U.S. banking and the U.S. dollar monopoly of the whole world's financial system can go, do not send money to those countries. If you do, you're pissing off America with the biggest army military complex. What is it, like 20 times the size of the next 20, 20 largest countries combined, like 19 of which are our allies. That's just ridiculous, right? But to enforce that, Financial rule of law, that's why we have this big power defense structure defending the real holy grail, which is banking, all right? The, yeah, the real holy grail, going all the way back to the Templars and all that shit. They discovered banking. That's the holy grail that runs the world. Yeah, anyways, so... When we, the people, start putting our money, our, our store of value into cryptocurrencies, and we can just send it to each other without the banks, we don't need them anymore, and they're not getting their cut. They don't need to print the money. The Fed prints the money and loans it to the United States. That's why we pay interest. It's because money is created. And like if a dollar is created, and they say, okay, you owe us a dollar ten back, but that was the very first dollar created. There's no way to ever pay that back because if you pay that dollar back, you, there's still 10 cents that you owe them from nowhere. That's a really small example and you just multiply that out by billions and billions of dollars and that's why the system is not going to sustain itself and debt-based systems always crash. With cryptocurrencies, there's a fixed known amount and we can all start to choose to put our value in that. We choose to not sell at a lower price. We say this is where we're going to interact with if they want to come in, they can, they're just going to keep printing money and it's just going to inflate the price of Bitcoin and all these other currencies because they can't print their way out of something this time. It's not going to work anymore. All it takes is for people to start choosing this and it's going to happen soon. This is like almost like a war that's been going on for thousands of years, like banking institutions versus people, people controlling wealth and trying to use that to manipulate the masses. If you think, honestly ask yourself, if you, how many people you know that have debt and if you have debt, because it's probably gonna be a high percentage how does that debt make you feel? Do, does it feel good? Does it feel like weight's been taken off your shoulders? Or is it a weight on your shoulders? Now, if everybody's feeling this because we're an indebted society, that's kind of a sinister energy for me, you know? And yet that's the system that they've created. I get it, maybe they're trying to run the world just govern, 
I get it. But the system you created systematically makes everybody feel indebted. You know what that is? That's slavery. It's like worldwide slavery that these banks have put us under. That's why all this turmoil is that we're all person versus person, us versus them. That's just this world they created to try and make us all seem like there's not enough to go around so that they can manipulate us and do fighting, wars. Why do we have to have all these wars? That's their tool to keep us stupid. And all we have to do is to start choosing to put our value somewhere else. We work, we get a store of value for that work, and we can choose to put it in a different currency that isn't feeding a war-based culture or um, an oppressive culture. All these, There's different countries all around the world doing different things, and we can start to choose to not put our value with their currency. That's what's happening, and it's not going to stop because... After 2008, the whole psyche of humanity is like, decentralized, we can't have big institutions running the world anymore because they make stupid decisions that affect all of us. There's about to be, like, China recently started its derivative, uh, oil-backed derivatives market. They're about to make it so that you can um, redeem them all for all metals, not just gold. Some big events are coming up in the economy around the 31st. Some um, derivative contracts and all that. There's just a lot. Like, there's so much going on. I can't even like give you. There's a hundred different examples of, of things about to happen in this next month that might push it to where like the U.S. dollar loses a little bit of its dominance. And the world's gonna be a little shaky, like shaky. Just be aware. And this has been building for decades. We're about to have some changes, and this is gonna be some fun, exciting times. Like, ooh, I love change. I'm like, Shiva, Shiva, Shiva. Yeah. Cryptocurrencies are about to take off because people are about to wake up, and like, this is your personal power, people. It comes down to, do you want things done for you or do you want to do things for yourself? Do you want the government to take care of you? Do you want somebody else to do the things for you? Or do you want to do it for yourself? I used to, I'm like, oh God, I even, from a spiritual perspective, I was like, I want to be a really good person and do great things and like, universe, just take care of me. Give me the good things. And like, for years I was complaining, I'm like, why am I not winning the lotto? Why am I, and then I was like, you know what, universe, I'm a good person anyways, and I'm just going to start doing it myself. I don't need anybody to take, I don't, don't do it for me. You know what? I, if I only got this one life, I don't want you to do it for me because that's pointless. I'm going to do it for myself. That's what this is doing to our whole society. We're going to move away from having governments and outside forces take care of us, having our personal power taken back and being like, you know what? We can have an effect in this world. And if you really want to start that, you can start it now by getting in on this crypto revolution. All right? Take back your personal power. Realize your control through your money. Try and do anything outside of the banking system. Try and, try and take a whole lot of money out of the bank at one time and see how fast you can do that, how much control you have of your money that you put there. All right? And just let me know how that goes. So it's a little crypto awareness. All right? <laughs> it's your aware moment for now. I'll start making some more uh, videos on my favorite projects and some things like that, but I also want to touch on this human collective conscious aspect of what's going on around the world, and we're in for a few, a few exciting years, alright, I look forward to talking more.